Arif again and today uh, I'm going to talk to you about the T word, ticks, ticks or motor ticks in children. Now what are they? They are a sudden recurrent uh, individually recognizable vocalization or intermittent movements that are almost always briefly suppressible and usually associated with uh, awareness of an urge to perform these movements. Now we don't, do not know why these happen. Um, however, if one tries to suppress it, it leads to discomfort and then um, these are relieved when the act is performed at some point. Now, to be called as tics or uh, a tic disorder, these movements should be present on most days for at least four weeks. And then they will be called transient tic disorder. However, if they last for more than a year, then they're called chronic tic disorder. Now, it's very clear that these movements or tics are triggered by suggestions, by excitement, by anxiety or stress, and even demonstration. So if you show a child what he or she is doing, they will repeat it. And they, they, they go on in this waxing and waning manner. There are, there are good days and there are bad days. Now, tics are common and occur in about 5 out of 100 children. And they usually present between 3 and 8 years of age. The most severe form and the chronic form called Tourette's syndrome, thankfully, is extremely rare and it occurs in about 0.7 out of 100 children. Um, it is likely that what you're seeing with your child, like eye blinking or mouth grimacing, neck twisting or shoulder jerking, these are simple motor tics and they will go away in time. However, it's best to get them checked at least once with your pediatrician or your pediatric neurologist. However, yes, at times if they are causing uh, confidence issues, academic problems, bullying or behavioral issues, then an intervention is required in the form of cognitive behavioral therapy or habit reversal techniques with a psychologist and at times medications. Um, so I would suggest please go and see your pediatric neurologist or child psychiatrist for this. And um, I had tics as a child between 8 and 10 years of age and I used to crack my neck and listen to that noise. It lasted for a year or 18 months and then my, my mind just forgot about it. So I always tell parents, you should make sure that the child's mind forgets that he or she has tics and for that reason, make sure you don't nag them or point out the problem to them. Be safe, wear your mask, wash your hands and maintain the distance. Bye-bye.